Welcome to the Greensboro Science Center, where we're happy to host the Summer Olympics. We have two exciting sports coming up. The first one is going to be wrestling with our otters, and the second one is gymnastics with our gibbons and lemurs. First up is wrestling featuring our Asian small clawed otters. We're gonna to get to talk to Keeper Megan. She's gonna tell us a little bit about these Olympians. We are here today with Keeper Megan and she's gonna tell us a little bit about our next sport, which is wrestling with the otters. First of all, Megan, what kind of otters do we have here? Hi everyone. So here at the Greensboro Science Center, we have Asian small clawed otters. So they are the smallest otter species out of 13 in the world. So here at the Science Center, we have four individuals and we have Olin, Jelly, Theodore, and Quincy. Olin recently celebrated his 16th birthday and that's very old for an Asian small clawed otter. So in the wild, they generally live to be about 12 years old. In zoos and aquariums, they can live to be in their 20s. So he is pretty old for an Asian small clod. So you say that they can be super active. We've seen some instances of them kind of wrestling. What exactly are they doing there? They're definitely playing. They can actually communicate with over 12 different vocalizations. And so they're constantly chattering with one another. They do a lot of physical communications as well and that's just an easy way for them to stay physically fit and to kind of bond as brothers. Well they are super cute so I know everyone wants to know can I have one as a pet? I would definitely not recommend that. <laughs> they are very smelly and they would make your house an absolute mess. They have a very high metabolism which means that what goes in their mouth comes out within three hours so they make a mess. They also like to mark all of their stuff and so they have a special gland where they excrete a musk and so the smell is constant. Well, you heard it here first. Otters as pets are not good because they stink. Well, Megan, thank you so much for joining us today here at the Olympics. We'll see you next time. Welcome to the Battle of the Brothers here at the Greensboro Science Center, folks. Today we have Quincy and Theodore battling it out for the title. Looks like we got a game of King of the Hill going. Oh, and that is a dirty move done by Theodore. We got some biting going on, some more jabbing, a little bit of slapping, but I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Now we got some evasion tactics going on. If you can't catch him, you can't hit him. Am I right, folks? A little bit more slapping, some clapping. Oh, maybe a pause? No. Oh, no. Another takedown. We got down it down. To the mat. <laughs> You're right. We got it down to the mat. We're going fast here, folks. A little bit more slapping, some more jabbing. Who is going to win this title? Oh, we got a sneak attack. That's that's pretty dirty. I'm not going to lie, but we'll let it slide. Why not? It's the Olympics, right? Oh, now that is a dirty takedown done by Quincy. He's given it his all this time, folks. He really wants that title. This is against regulations, I'm sure of it. I'm pretty certain too, but hey, why not? We're having some fun here today. Oh my goodness, looks like I've got more biting going on. A little bit of grappling. Oh, and here we go, folks. I think we're getting down to the wire. Who's it going to be? One, two, oh, and it's Theodore coming in for the win this evening, folks. Thank you so much. Well, folks, it looks like we've got a clear winner in today's wrestling event. Stay tuned, coming up later this week, we're gonna be going to the gymnastics event with our lemurs and our gibbons. 